Okay, um, in this tutorial, we're going to go over the makeup masks for Dragon Age Inquisition. And I'm going to show you where they are. At the moment, I've already got them open, including the textures for the base heads, or some of them, just so we can overlap them to see where they lie on the base head. So to get to the makeup masks, we have to go from Dragon Age 3, Actors, Base Heads, textures and then makeup and here they are. This one gets used by the canary. As you can see through these it shows the canary bundles including the multiplayer ones and in this references you can see further down Maybe we're going a bit too far down. <laughs> but usually when you go through the references, you can tell which characters use it. Um, like in these mesh variation files. Oh, there we are. So this gets used by the dwarf characters, the elf, hawks, human. And yeah, just repeats it for the other bundles as well. And then there's this one which is the one I've got open here. I had no clue which one this got used by originally in the DAI tools. But now looking through these, I've noticed the Venetarian mages use it. Uh, apparently Alexius uses it. So I presume it's the Tevinter makeup, possibly. Yeah, Venetari Mage. Yeah, so technically we shouldn't have to edit this one. And only edit the one you want to do. If you want to make makeup for the Kunari, then just do this one. The QHM underscore makeup zero one underscore M. And if you want to do it for the dwarves, elves and humans, then it would be the UHM underscore makeup underscore M. And as you can see when you first look at them, they're only showing the lips. That's because of the alpha being used as well as the RGB. So I've already exported these. Um, so now I'm going to open them in GIMP. Because that's the program I use. I don't have Photoshop, but I presume it would be a similar method in Photoshop. Okay, so I have the textures open in GIMP. And as you can see, it's still showing the alpha layer, including on these. I've got the human male as well as the human female base and the dwarf female base. And then obviously the canary as well. So if I want to show these without the alpha layer, I right click, add layer mask, transfer layers alpha channel, add, and disable. This doesn't remove it, it just disables it so I can see it like that. Same for these, right click, add layer mask, transfer layers alpha channel, add, right click, disable. Okay, and for these, we actually want to split them up so we get the separate channels. So for this one as well, so we go to Colours, Components and Decompose. And that would only give us the RGB layer, but because we want the alpha as well, go to RGBA. And this will open a new document where all the layers and I'll separate. And now we want to do the same for the canary makeup. And because I've already done the decompose, all I have to press is Control F. 
and if you forget which one's which just look at the top corner and that tells you which one you've got open on the layer okay so if I wanted to see where these line up on these textures all I have to do is copy the layer I'm looking at so that's active so which one's this one okay right click new layer oh yeah that's what I've done wrong Make sure you're not selected on the alpha layer. So as you can see, I've now got the lip showing. So to get rid of the black, just so I can see it and then add the black in again later, I go to colors, color to alpha, and change this to black. And now it's showing where it is on the lips, on the texture. And I can copy that over to oops clicked on it again and uh, make sure you click on that layer <laughs> uh, and then for the canary one again control a control c while on the alpha layer make sure i'm clicking on that and because i've done the color to alpha already i can press control f so this now shows where the lip texture is but I'm gonna edit each one I mean you can do the edits in here because they're already aligned to the lips to the eyes um, you can also load the textures in blender or find an XPS model and load them onto that see how they look before you go into game but if you get a model up here, then that should show it too. But only if you add it to the this texture. So you could make each layer, do the changes, go on to here, change it to a color so it affects that texture and reload that into Frosty. And then you can see where it lines up a bit better before applying these layers back into this. Alternatively, if you wanted to add some of the canary tattoos to the makeup, so you could colour them and still have them effective, where if you turn off helmets in game, it turns off these as well, which is a shame. So you could add one of these layers to your texture, to your makeup texture, and then that could be used to influence that. Instead of, say, the blush, use a tattoo instead. So you could have any of these showing. Like You could even use the red part of that as the eyeliner or the eyeshadow part of the texture. Actually, I'm going to show that because I think it's a pretty decent idea if you don't want to use blush. I hardly use blush on characters, so it's a workaround to have more than one tattoo as well if you want to have two versions of a tattoo on a Dalish character on the dwarves. So let's go back to here and just open tattoo textures okay. recently used decompose RGBA yeah, because I'm not gonna actually put that back into the tattoo texture I can close them Yes, yeah, so that only affects has um, the red and green layer. This has all the way down to alpha. You could even combine them all together. But I wanted this one 
to replace that. So I'll go on here, if I copy it in and then merge, oh no, not merge down, anchor. Now that's become the blue layer. Use the color picker. I just want to do, oops, definitely not want that. Where's my normal ones? There we go. Still too big. Hmm. That's not painting it on the right. Okay, so, oh, oh, silly me, make sure your opacity is full. <laughs> uh, okay, that's gonna look a bit, oh well, I'm just doing it as a test really, so, just to see if it, how it shows up. And that doesn't need anything. Let's drop the line. Oops. Oops. That's why I'm not painting there. These are all just for tests. Just to show what it can do. Um, so if I wanted to create this back into that, I'll go back to Colors, Components and Compose. Now this would only give us the red, green and blue layer. So we need to change that to RGBA. And now it's got the channels again back into that and as one layer. So I'd export that and have that as Kunari Makeup New. Oh, import uh, Alpha Makeup. Canary makeup new, and if we go, yep, got that there. Okay, okay, so just a quick thing um, the canary tattoos aren't only in here, technically, it's wall paint, so it's also in here. So, like the DLC wall paints, you can add them. So you can hear the Dragon Age in the background. <laughs> um, so you can add them to the makeups, these to the makeups. These are all the wall paints. So one more here. Could use that even for the makeups. So you, they're actually still visible when they're not visible when you had helmets basically. Okay. Okay, so I didn't touch the eyeshadow, so that's why that looked like that. Okay. Oh yeah, there's the curve from the eyeliner. There's no downwards curve. Let's have a look. Hmm. Well, that's interesting because I can see the... Oh, no, there it is. Let's turn that down. And that completely down. Yeah, there it is. So I've got the upwards curve going up the side of the nose and the downwards one going down the crease of the eye. So that did work. Wash. Yep, that worked. <laughs> Brilliant. So we can actually use the blush layer, the eyeliner layer, the um, eyeshadow layer to actually use the batars. Since, like it, I said, if you hide helmets, it hides the batar as well. So I can change that. Any colour I want. That actually looks pretty cool.
Oh, and I just noticed the line and look for the stick. Actually, looks pretty cool with that as well. So, yeah, um, that's the tutorial. It's really just playing around with the textures and see how they look in game. Like I said, for the Canary, you can add the Vitar this way. So, when you have hide helmets on, the Vitar remains. Since we don't have an option for keeping it as a tattoo, which is a shame. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Goodbye.